Hi and welcome to the independent practice. Let's get started. In this problem, a banner is made of a square and a semicircle. The square has lengths of 26 inches. One side of the square is also the diameter of the circle. What is the total area of the banner? We're going to use 3.14 for pi in this case. Well, let's move this aside here and uh, let's draw the figure. Uh, so it's a square and a semicircle, and it's this banner. So we have uh, here, we have a square, a lovely square, and a semicircle. So the semicircle is going to come out like that. And I think that uh, we have uh, the side of the square has lengths of 26 inches. So this is 26, and that's 26, and obviously this is 26 as well and that's 26 okay the one side of the square is also the diameter so there you go and we have uh, what's the area of the square well the area of the square is going to be 26 to the second power I have a calculator here what 26 times 26 is 676 so we have 676 as the area of the square and then the area of the uh, other part uh, the semicircle right here the area of this is going to be uh, half of a circle and a circle is pi times the radius squared so we're going to add to this pi times the radius squared oh but divided by two right because it's half of a circle well if we then have a pi as 3.14 and the radius is half of 26. The radius is going to be, uh, what, 13, because 13 and 13 is 26. So it's going to be times 13 to the second. And then you have to do that whole thing divided by 2. I went a little bit crazy with this. It's not right there. Uh, I'm also going to have this, um, what, 676 right there. So I'm going to do 13 to the second. I know that 13 to the second is 169. So it's 3.14 times 169 divided by 2 and uh, 169 times 3.14 is that is 530.66 over 2. Uh, and 530.66 divided by 2 is 265. So it's plus 265.33. Uh, and that's all getting added to 676 for our final total plus 676 of, uh, I'll put it in blue, uh, 941.33. So that is 941.33. Let's go with the label here. It's all in inches, so square inches, inches squared. Okay, well, there's a lot going on there. So let's go on with number six, and I'm going to move number six up a little bit. And I need to erase, I need some space here. So I'm going to erase all this. And let's go with the next problem, which is Erin uh, wants to carpet the floor of her closet. A floor plan of the closet is shown. How much carpet does Erin need? Well, I see two shapes here. And this one, this is going to be, uh, that's going to be 40, right? 40 square feet because it's 10 times 4. And then the area of this shape here. It's going to be base times height divided by 2. Uh, base is 6. The height is going to be this entire space. So that's 3, and the other part's 4. And so 3 and 4 is 7. That would be 6 times 7 divided by 2. Base times height divided by 2. That's 42 over 2, which is 21. And so we add our two areas together. We have 40 plus 21, that would be, what, 61 square feet. And that looks good. So we'll go into part B. Aaron has chosen 
uh, the, the carpet that she's chosen is $2.50 per square foot. How much will it cost for her to carpet the floor? It's going to be uh, 61. Oops. Uh, it's going to be 61 times $2.50. And that's 61 times $2.50 is $152.50. Next one, number seven. Ooh, a hexagon. A, B, C, D, F has vertices. A, all those points. Sketch the figure on the coordinate plane. What is the area of the hexagon? Okay, well, let's take uh, A is negative 2, 4. Negative 2, 4 should be right here. And I'll label that A. B is 0, 4. B is 0, 4. C is 2, 1. 2, 1. Uh, D is 5, 1. 5, 1. Right there. That's D. E is 5, negative 2. 5, negative 2. E. And F is negative 2, negative 2. Negative 2, negative 2. That's F. And I will sketch this now. We connect. Well, it says it's a hexagon. Hexagon has five sides. So when I'm done, I'm going to check to make sure this has five sides. One, two, I can't see what I'm looking at. One, two, three, four, oh wait, oh hex, oh wait, hex, oh yeah, hex is six. Yeah, pent, pentagon is five, yeah, hexagon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Uh, what's the area of this? All right, well, let's, let's switch this. I, I would probably say, I don't know. I, I would probably go with two different areas. Area 1 and Area 2. So for Area 1, I'm going to bring this over here like this. So for Area 1, I'll mark it here. Area 1, that's a trapezoid. Which means we have to take the two bases uh, and add them up. So the top base here, that's 2, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 2 plus 4, 2 plus 4, and you have to divide it by 2. Take the average of the two bases, add them and divide by 2. And then you have to multiply it by the height, so times the height. And the height of this is the distance between the bases, 1, 2, 3, and so that's times 3. And we end up with, uh, what, 6 over 2 times 3, which would be, what, 3 times 3, which is 9. So the area of the first part is 9, and then the bottom part, oh, that's just a rectangle. Number 2, that's going to be easy. That's, uh, what, this is uh, 1, 2, 3. That's 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 times 7. 21. So 3 times 7 is 21. And then you add them up. You have uh, the 9. Um, how about plus and uh, 21. And that equals, let's see, can I do it in blue? I'll do it in blue. Uh, that's 30. 30 uh, square units. Because they don't tell us the unit of measure, so you just say square units. Okay, number eight. Where is number eight? Oh, it's all the way back up here. Okay, number eight. Ooh, that's a funky looking shape. A field is shaped like figure like figure below. And what is the area of the field? Um, I'm going to go with uh, shape number one. Uh, shape number two. Can I can I do this? Shape number two? Yeah, two is going to be pretty easy. And shape number three. So there's three different shapes. Oh, you know what? I don't oh, anyway. Uh, shape number one is a quarter of a circle. So it's going to be pi times the radius squared. That's the area of a circle. But it's one fourth of it. So can you see that? If you have this, this is the area that we're taking of. That's a quarter of the circle. If you have you, know, you split it into four places there. So you have to divide it by four. And 
so that means that we need to know pi area of number one so that's 3.14 times the radius what is the radius of that circle it is just eight see that's eight right there and that's the radius so times eight squared over four and uh, that would be 3.14 times 64 over 4. And I know that uh, right here, 64 divided by 4 is, uh, what, 16. So I'll just do 3.14 times uh, that divided 16. Just trying to cut down on some work there. So 3.14 times 16 is, uh, I don't know what that is, 3.14 times 16 is 50.24 50.24 okay I'm gonna save that for number one uh, number two is gonna be simple number two is just 8 times 8 it's a square 8 squared which is 64 I'm gonna save that and then the area of number three uh, that's uh, base times height base times height divided by 2 it's a triangle so base and height uh, is 8 and 8. They're the same. This is 8 as well right there. So uh, 8 times 8 divided by 2, which is 64 divided by 2, which is uh, 32. 32. Okay, so we have one of these, we have another, and then we have the other, and we have to add up all of these areas. So 50.24 plus the 64 plus uh, 32 well, let's see I I have 32 plus 64 plus 50.24 on a calculator and I'm looking at 146.24 square meters yeah and that is our final answer for that problem Okay, let's move on to the next. <clears throat> right here, number nine, a bookmark shaped like a rectangle with a semicircle attached at both ends. Uh, the rectangle is 12, meters, 12 centimeters long, 4 centimeters wide. The diameter of each semicircle is the width of the rectangle. What is the area of the bookmark? Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because I want to fit this up here. And I want to draw this now. Let's see. Uh, with a semicircle at both ends. So we have a um, rectangle with a semicircle at both ends. And I will call this um, one and two. No, oh, whoops. Hold on. I'll make that two. Okay, so the area of one and this one would be the same area. So I'm splitting these up. <clears throat> what is the area of the bookmark? Okay, so uh, the rectangle is 12 centimeters long. So 12 centimeters long and 4 centimeters wide. Uh, CM and CM. Now the area for number two, well, I guess I'll go in order. Number one area for this well what we're looking at is a complete circle with a diameter of four right because this is all four so this also would be four and we want the area so that means we need uh, the radius so the radius is equal to two and the area is pi r squared which is 3.14 times 2 squared which is 3.14 times 4 and that's 12.56 okay we have that and then I'm going to move this over a little bit more and we need the area of number 2 which is going to be super simple that is a rectangle uh, which is uh, the area for that is 4 times 12 which is 48 and so we take our first answer 12.56 that area and we add to that the area of the other which was 48 
and we get a total answer. Uh, well, I know that's 0 0.56. That's going to be easy, and that's zero. Uh, that's uh, 60.56, and I'm just making sure that that is exactly what it should be. And yes, that is exactly 60.56. So I will write uh, 60.56, and that's all in centimeters. But we're talking about area, so it's centimeters squared or square centimeters. Okay, number 10. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to erase this stuff over here uh, just to get it out of my way. Okay, so... In this problem, um, Alex is making 12 pennants for the school fair. The pattern it, he is using to make the pennants is shown below. The fabric costs 125 per square foot. How much will it cost Alex to make 12 pennants? Okay, let's talk about one pennant. We need the area for one pennant. So I see uh, two different areas. I see an area here, and I see a different area for the triangle. So the area for that rectangle, that's just one times three, which is three. Okay, that's that's simple. Okay, I'm gonna save that. And then the other one, the area of the triangle, that's gonna be base times height divided by two. The base of this is one. And the height is one. Uh, let me um, erase this little, uh, Oops, let me erase this little two and show you that the base, the, the base, this right here is very important. That 90 degrees tells me that the base and height meet at 90 degrees. So base is one and that's this right here and the height is also one. So one times one and then divided by two and that's one half, right? Okay, so for one pennant, We would have uh, three uh, plus one half, which is three and a half, three and a half um, feet. Uh, yeah, square, uh, square feet. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Um, square feet. So that's how much we need uh, for one pennant. Now we need to take that three and one half and multiply it by 12 or that's 3.5 times 12 let's see 3.5 times 12 um that's 36 plus 6 is 42 i believe that's 42 oops oh boy that was that was not so good i'm going to multiply this 3.6 times just to make sure uh, 3.5 times 12 is uh, 42, yes. So that is 42. And this is 42 for for uh, 12 pennants. Now, if it's 42, uh, what, square feet for 12 pennants, then we need to multiply 42 times $1.25 because uh, that's how much it is per uh, per square foot, I believe. So 42 times 1.25, uh, 42 times 1.25 is 52.5. And that is our final answer, 52.50 or uh, $52.50. Okay, number 11. A composite figure is formed by combining a square and a triangle. Its total area is 32.5 um, uh, square feet. The area of the triangle is 7.5. What is the length of each side of the square? Hmm. Okay, well, <clears throat> if we have a square and a triangle something like this this is said to be 7.5 and so what we have to do is we have to take 
32.5 minus the 7.5 and that is uh, what 25 so the area of this is 25 but the the question is what's the length of each side well this has to be 5 because 5 times 5 is 25 so uh, let's see here I'll say the length oh I'm sorry not not the length the area of the square is 25 what square feet um, since the square root of 25 is 5 the length of each side is 5 feet all right there we go let's go on to the next page okay number 12 um, Christina plotted the shape of her garden on the graph paper she estimates that she will get about 15 carrots from each square unit she plans to use the entire garden for carrots how many carrots can she expect to grow so we need to find how many square units are here which is the area of this I think that what we should do is divide this up maybe it would be best and this is just one idea but we can do this and I'll call this the area of number one. Oh, that doesn't show up very good at all. Uh, so one and uh, blue will be two. So the area of number one, that's a trapezoid. And the area of a trapezoid is base sub one plus base sub two divided by two times the height. And um, so base sub one and base sub two, those are the two bases. So uh, one base is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one of them is eight, and the other one is one, two, three, four. The other one is four. So I take that, divide by two, and the height of this is the distance between the bases, which is just one, two, uh, times two. So we get, uh, what? 12 divided by 2 times 2, uh, that's 6 times 2, which is 12. So the area of this one is 12. Okay, I'm going to save that. And then the area of number 2, that's going to be pretty easy. That is, <clears throat> that's going to be, what, well, that's just um, 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 times 4. 2 times 4, which is 8, and then we have to add up both the 12 um, and we have to add the 8 and that gets us uh, 20 and so 20 square units should be our uh, goal here so we have 20 square units and what does it say here oh, 15 about 15 for each square unit so we would take the 20 20 times 15 uh, and half so oh god I can't even think of what that is I don't know why 300 so that'd be 300 so she would ex oops oh boy um, uh, so to explain I would say the area can be found by um, adding the trapezoid area with the rectangle area which is um, oh boy what was that again 
that was uh, 20, 20 square units, uh, which is 20 square units. Fifteen times twenty is three hundred carats. Okay, next. Uh, the figure shown is made of a triangle and a square. The perimeter is uh, fifty-six inches. What is the area? Okay, so the perimeter of uh, the whole thing is fifty-six. All the way around is fifty-six. Okay. Well then. If we know that this is 8 and this is 10, so what we can do is we know that, oops, we know that the whole thing is 56 inches. Let's take off the 10 and the 10, and we know that this is a square, and these are all going to be the same length. Let me show you what I mean here. So we take the 56 minus the two 10s. It's minus 20, so it'd be 36. Now, 36 is this distance. 36 is uh, this side, this side, and this side. The three sides add up to 36. So if, if I divide that by 36, so if I take 36 divided by 3, that is 12. That means each side now we know is 12. Oops, 12. Uh, uh, so what is the area of, oh, okay, so if this, if this is 12, and this is isosceles, so this is, these two are the same length, then this must be 6. That is 6. Okay, area time. The area, I'll take the, I'll call this, uh, blue, and this, uh, this, uh, green, 2. So, uh, and, and these both have the same area. So I'm going to take the area of number one. Number one is really just 12 squared, which is 144. And then the area of the, the triangle, number two, that's base times height. That would be base, oops, base times height divided by two, which is, uh, what, six times eight. Six times eight divided by two. And I chose six and eight because that is the base and this is the height. They meet at 90 degrees. Uh, next, uh, 6 times 8. Well, I, what I could do is I could just do, I know 6 divided by 2 is 3, and so 3 times 8 is 24. So I could just do that. Or I can do 6 times 8 divided by 2. That's still 24. So in the end, we're going to take the sum of everything, and that's 144 plus uh, 24 and that is equal to uh, what that's eight six one hundred sixty eight uh, but I forgot one little thing there's actually two of, so this is the area of one of the triangles right but there's two triangles so I need to add another 24 to this and so I will do so right now uh, plus another 24 and that is uh, what two uh, nine hundred ninety two, and it's all in inches. So uh, I would say it is one hundred ninety two square inches. Um, the sides of the square. can be found by subtracting the sides of the triangle uh, triangle uh, so um, 56 minus 20 is 36 uh, then divided by 2 
divide by 3 to get the length of each side. So that's what I did. Now, uh, uh, combine the square and triangle areas to get, um, what was it? It was uh, 192 inches squared. 192 square inches. All right. Next, we have, ooh, the pattern for a scarf is showing the right. What is the area of the scarf? Hmm. Well, let's see. I'm going to erase some stuff here so I get this out of my way. Um, wow. Let's see now. So, the area, I see this. I see a big rectangle, right? This big old rectangle right there. And so I'm going to take the area of that rectangle and I'm going to subtract the area of the circle. And that leaves me with that scarf. So, oops. So the area of the rectangle, oh my goodness. So I'm going to say, uh, Area of rectangle, I'm going to just call it A of rectangle, is 28 times 15. And 28 times 15 is uh, 420. And then I'm going to subtract the area of the circle, right? And that leaves me with the rest. So uh, actually, what I want. I just wanted to, I wanted to be fancy for a moment, and I just want to do this and do uh, area of circle. Okay, so I have to subtract uh, the area of the circle. So I need the radius, and so that radius is going to be half the diameter, which is 7.5. So this is going to be, uh, area of the circle is pi r squared, so it's 3.14 times the radius, 7.5 squared, which is minus uh, 3.14 times uh, 5620, 56.25. And I don't know, 56.25 times 3.14 is 176.625. 176.625. And I have this um, 420. So 420 minus 176.625 is uh, our final answer is uh, 243.375. And so that's what I will bring over here. Uh, what? 243.375. So it's 243.375 square inches. All right. Next, number 15, or last question here. Uh, the design for the palladium window uh, includes a semicircular shape at the top. That's this right here. And the bottom is formed by squares of equal size. So here's all the squares of equal size. A shade for the window will extend four inches beyond the perimeter. Okay, so this is the shade, four inches beyond the perimeter. Okay. Um, shown by the dashed line around. Okay, each square of the window has an area of 100 inches squared. So each of these is 100. So that means that each side of each square is a 10 by a 10 because 10 times 10 is 100 and that's how you get the area as you multiply the sides together. Now there are I believe 16 of these 1 2 3 4 by 1 2 3 4. So to begin with the area of these squares is going to be 100 times 16 which is 16 
100. Now the area of the top part right here, the area of this here, we need the radius. So what I'm talking about is uh, we have the area of this, that's 1600, and then the area of this half circle part, we need, well it's a circle, we need the area of the circle, which first we need the radius of that, and if each of these is 10, then the whole radius is 20. That's not showing up so good. Let's try that again. Uh, that whole side is 20. So the area is um, area of that top part. The area is pi times the radius squared, but you have to divide it by 2 because it's half of a circle. So that's 3.14 times the radius, which is 20 squared, and then divide by 2. Uh, 3.14, I know 20 squared is 400 divided by 2. Hey, I can do 400 divided by 2. That's 3.14 times uh, 200, right? 400 divided by 2 is 200. And I think that this is 628. So the final is um, we, we need uh, the 1600. Let's see, what am I going to do here? Uh, uh, the 1600. That comes from here, the 1600 plus the 628. So um, plus the 628 is equal to, uh, let's see, uh, 2228, I believe. Yeah, 2228. And uh, there you go. That is our area. What's the area of the window? It's 2,228 uh, inches, square inches. What's the area of the shade? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. So the area of the shade, what does it say about the shade? It's four inches beyond the perimeter of the window. So that's gonna take a little bit more work here. Uh, let me uh, erase all this stuff. The measurements are the same, but I need to change a little bit here. So what is this distance here? That distance is, well, that's 10, 20, 30, 40. This right here is 4, and that little distance is 4 as well, right? So that's 48. Excuse me. That's 48. And so I'm going to erase that part. So we know that part's 48. Now, the other part here is uh, what? This is um, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 4. So this is 44. And the area of that spot, let's see. Oh, I need to erase all this stuff here. Um, let's see. Oops. So the area of this spot is 44 times 48. 44 times 48. Let's see, I have my calculator on the side. 44 times 48 is 2,112. Uh, 2,112. And the area of the other part, I'm going to erase this. So I, I clean it off a little bit. Why won't it erase? There we go. So the area of the semicircle I'm going to do in um, perhaps blue, and we need the that that distance is four, and this is 10, 20, 30, 40, and another four. So again, this is 48. That part's 48, and I need. Uh, I need the radius, right? I need the radius here for the area. So the radius is going to be half of 48, which is 24. Okay, I'm going to use that. Now I'm going to find the area of the circle, the area of the half circle. So the area of the half circle is pi times the radius squared divided by 2. And pi we'll use as 3.14. And the radius is going to be 24. 
Yeah, it's going to be 24. Uh, and that's going to be 24 squared, and all that is divided by 2. So 24 squared. 24 times 24 is 576. So it's 3.14 times 576 divided by 2. I'll just take 576 divided by 2. And then I'll, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this little part here. And then when I'm done with that, I can multiply it by 3.14. So divided by 2 is 288. So this is, this is going to be uh, 3.14 times 288. Uh, 288 times 3.14 is 904.32. Okay, so we have these two areas, I believe. It's um, the total area is uh, 904.32 uh, plus this top area right here 2112 uh, it, well what i did up here which is really the, the bottom part here so um the 904 this is the area up here and the 2112 is the area right here uh now uh what 2112 and when i add them together i get uh, three thousand sixteen point thirty two and that it oh, round your answer to the nearest whole number which means uh, the nearest whole number is right here so I have to look at that number if that's four or less it stays the same so it's gonna be three thousand sixteen so uh, this is three thousand sixteen uh, square inches that's the area for the shade and there you go that's what you got to know every detail about this uh, independent practice for uh, composite shapes thanks for watching